Hey, hello. Today I'm going to show you how the new Jabra Elite 7 Pro sound like with the microphone quality using Zoom, Microsoft Teams, how battery life is, how ANC works, their special uh, features. And we are going to compare it with the older versions like Elite 85T, go deeper into battery life and show you all the benefits, pros and contras. So stay tuned for this video. So the case is a little bit larger than all the 85Ts from Jabra, but still very good to handle in a jeans pocket. Okay, let's look here at the specifications of the Elite 7 Pro and compare them directly to Elite 85T, which I'm also owning and using since a while. So first of all, they are 16% smaller than the Elite 85T, which makes them very, very comfortable to wear. So I never had one single situation where they were falling out of my ears. So they are now very small and I really like this form factor. So I would say, first of all here, this is my preferred headset regarding the form factor. There are also ones which have awesome music quality, which I returned and gave them back because they were just too clumsy, like the Neura Troop from Neura, uh, which I was testing a few weeks ago. Then, on the other hand, they are the, their weight is much more smaller, now 5.4 grams compared to the 7 grams. IP rating has changed, now IP57 rating, so they are waterproof. The 85Ts were just IPX4, so that's a big advantage. Regarding controlling, you know, the buttons, multi-control, that's the same. You're using the same Jabra app, so that's pretty much without a difference. Driver 6mm compared to 12mm, so the drivers here are re-engineered. Frequency re response is the same. Audio codecs like SPC and AAC are the same. Hybrid um, ANC is now different because you have now adjustable levels. So there is a so on the app you can choose if you want to modify the ANC depending on your ears. So if you maybe want to have a little bit more on the on the left or on the right, you can modify it with the 85T. There was just an on and off switch. It was called hybrid ANC. So that's much better. But I would say they are maybe not the best in class. So I would assume that the ANC is much better with the Sony and Bose, so maybe they are on the top three, maybe on the top five, we have to see, but they're not the number one by far. Transparency mode on the 85T, yes, there was a switch on, and here you've got five different levels of uh, transparency, which is the hear through mode, super important, especially when you're driving on a bike and you want to hear the traffic behind you, so that increases safety, of course. Microphones per earbuds, now we have two instead of three with the 85Ts. Wind noise reduction is still existing. Yes, very important thing. I love to work outside, hybrid work, you know, and also uh, make sure that you don't hear the wind when we're talking. Bluetooth has increased from 5.1 to 5.2, which is very nice. The operating range is 10 meters. We're going to test in a few minutes. Uh, the proximity sensor, yes, both have it. And now there is a new bone conductor sensor, which helps with the bones to transfer, to trans, um, to, yeah to move the voice <laughs> from what you're hearing into your bones and you get a very clear voice. So we are going to talk a bit a bit later. Music time, eight hours uh, with ANC on and 30 hours in including all the chargers here. So it's 80, so it's eight hours plus 22, which includes in the charge, which means they are one of the leading ones regarding battery time. So I'm very happy with the 30 hours battery time overall. You can charge them here with a USB-C cable, which is included, and you can also charge them using Qi uh, certified wireless charging. If you have a nice Qi charging blade, you can use them. Warranty of two years, and the other difference is to the 85Ts, there is now a fast charge, which means you get one hour of usage by only five minutes of charging. Hey, hello, that's a voice test here of the microphone quality of the Jabra Elite 7 Pro. In your bus, they just arrived a few days ago, and here I'm at the beautiful Algarve in Portugal. And we're going to see the ocean here behind me. And one of the things which I would like to show you is the quality of the microphones. And let's see if the beautiful sound of the waves are going to affect my voice quality. 
The bone conducting sensor, which is the voice pickup unit, works differently than with the models like Aftershock, which I've also reviewed. Here they're still sitting classically like in earbuds, so not, they're sitting not directly on the bone. They're sitting here like in earbuds. But uh, Jabra has promised that they're going to uh, pick up different types of noises. So, so these bone conducting sensors can, can hear or can identify if this is wind or human voice and then they can eliminate and decrease this kind of sound, like wind. So after all, the uh, bone conducting thing is all about increasing clarity and not about uh, typical things which aftershock models are providing. Now I'm very close to the waves and I can still hear the waves through ANC, so it's not filtered out. I've also listened to a lot of music in the background when I was on the pool. I still could hear the music but it definitely really helps to concentrate and it also helps on a plane. So ANC is, yeah, we call it on a scale from five, zero to five. I would give it maybe a th a three up to four. And I didn't have differences here on my left and on my right ear, so I was just using the standard ANC without modifying my left and my right ear. Music quality is actually really, really, really good. Drappers are not very known for having a very heavy bass experience, but here I'm very satisfied with the lows. I'm not getting uh, any kind of distortions in the lows, and if you go into the, the equalizer, well, I'm using usually a rock equalizer with a little bit of increased bass and increased trebles. It's a very nice punchy bass, and overall it's a very very nice uh, signature sound not extreme in any ways but exactly the way how i like it with older models of jabra in your butts you could not take one out and then still hear music and still having calls that was impossible now you can do it it, it works fine it's very comfortable to have calls with one single earbud you can choose if you want to use the right or the left one but you need to go into the jabra app and go directly here into the sound settings there is one little toggle which is all about switching off the auto play music experience so you need to make sure disable auto play in your and now let's check IP57, waterproof certification standard using our pool. Let's go. Okay, that's a very challenging test for the Jabra Elite 7 Pro. We're going to test the IP57 certification, which means they are waterproof. And let's check if they're going to survive. Okay, that's my test. <laughs> Please share the feedback how you like it. Okay, let's wrap up. Jabra Elite 7 Pro are excellent for having calls using Team, Zoom, whatever, ordinary calls. Very, very high call quality from their microphones. Then, the form factor, they are very, very small, easy to wear, very light to wear, and very comfortable to wear. Price tag 179, street price 199, official price is just great. Then, battery life, 30 hours, including the, the cases, are just very good battery time. The app is very rich of controls, modifying the touch controls, but also equalizer. So the Jabra app is improving every few weeks. On the downside, they are not the number one regarding ANC. ANC is very good, but not the best in class. And then, okay, I hope you like this video. Please consider to subscribe and give a like. And you're going to see more videos regarding headsets and speakerphones and also Microsoft Teams devices. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.